Hello guys, welcome to the channel The Office Guide Tutorial. This is Jitendra Chirosia and in today's tutorial, we are going to see how to design a professional looking animated slide headline in PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's start. So let's take a new document. For that, I'll press Ctrl N. So here you have a slide. I'll right click here, I'll come to the layout options and I'll choose blank. Now I'll come up to the drawing tab here and I'll take an oval shape, press shift and drag it, you'll get a perfect circle. Select the circle, come to the format option and change the dimensions to 24 and 24. With this, you'll get a perfect circle. Now select the circle, come to the align option and align it to middle. Now just drag it towards the left until it touches the periphery of the circle, touches the edge of the slide here. Okay, yeah, that looks fine. Now we'll take up another circle. So press shift again and drag it. Now I'll change its dimensions to four and four. I'll select it again. I'll, let me just first take the color scheme from my previous presentation. So I have a color scheme here. I'll just press control C and paste into my new slide. Okay, so let me change the color of this circle. So for that, I'll come to shape fill, eyedropper, and I'll choose the first color here. Now I'll again select it, shape outline, I've give, I will give a white color. And again, I'll come to shape outline and I'll give weight around six. I'll place it here. That looks fine to me. Also, I'll press one now. Okay, so you can see you got a text here. Now I'll select the text here and change its dimensions to somewhere around 66 looks fine to me. Now let us change the font here. So guys, the font which I'm going to use is Montserrat. I'll press enter. Here we got our first text here. Now select the circle, press control D and place it over here okay again press ctrl d and place it over here make sure you perfectly align it this and again just make a duplicate of this make sure you change the numbers here two three and four just let me to click correct this four I feel we are missing something here. Let us make this bold. So I'll select all the four and just click the bold. Okay, yeah, looks, looks fine to me. Now let's let's give a color to this circle. So I'll right click here, come to the format shape, fill, and I'll just give a quickly a gradient fill here. Let me just uh, remove the two slots here. Just select that and drag it down. It will delete. And I'll give a color something like uh, between yellow and blue yeah so good it's all your options you can choose I'm just choosing some random colors out of the theme which I have so whatever I will be doing here will be remaining between these four colors okay so let me just choose this again and I will remove its outline stroke come to line and click no line and just quickly select this second and shape fill give it this uh, next color similar with third give it next another color and fourth give it the next color now guys there are two options to animate this the first option is using morph and the second option is using the conventional animation tab so first come to transition if you can't see a morph option here, then you have to go for the second technique, which I'll be telling you later. Before we animate, let us change the orientation of this text because why I'm saying like that, let us select everything and press control G. So now it's a group. Now, if you can rotate this, you see when this text comes here, the orientation is incorrect. Okay. So what you have to do guys, just select this circle, zoom in here a little bit and rotate like this okay so when it comes here 
the orientation becomes correct a similar way guys rotate this also okay just let me check it is correct or not when three comes here yeah guys so you can see it's wrong here so i'll just rotate it again so if you want to rotate it perfectly you have to press shift and then rotate let me bring four also here and uh, let me just correct this also yeah now it's correct so i'll bring back the first here okay now the next step is let me just quickly check if these things are aligned to center or not in case you are not sure just select this and come to the format option align and just make to align to middle see guys it was not aligned properly so just we'll do like this so what you have to do just make four copies here select three slides second third and fourth come to the transition tab and click morph okay now come to the second slide and press shift rotate it okay now come to the third slide and make the three come to the center now come to the fourth slide and bring the four here okay guys now just let me quickly come to the presentation mode so you have to press f5 on your keyboard or you can click the icon here so this is the first slide second slide third slide and fourth slide now in case you feel the slide transitions are very slow what you can do select select them all the one which has this star icon here which means there are some transition applied to it reduce the time okay so we'll click on one second now you can see the animation will go a little faster one two three and four okay guys so this was the first uh, means for those who have a morph option in transition now let me just remove the transition here and I'll quickly show you how you can do in case you don't have morph option here. For that, you have to come to animation tab. Okay. First, you have to click here and we'll come to spin. Okay, guys. Then you have to come to then come to effect option and just make it a quarter spin. Okay, guys. With this the animation will rotate only a quarter now if you see the preview now let me just hide all the other slides hide the slide so now only we'll be seeing the first one so you can see this is the first and here comes the second okay now if you see carefully once the second slide comes if i go there is nothing to show so we have to add the animation further so i'll come to the add animation tab and again I will add spin and again I will make it quarter so with this we will come from second to third then again we will add the animation spin and again quarter spin okay with this we are ready to go just let me show you quickly here so this is the first slide second third and fourth so that's all guys for today's tutorial. I upload every month a lot of tutorials on, on Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So go and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get all the latest updates on my channel. And in case you like the video, I would love if you share the tutorial with your fellow mates. So thank you guys. See you in the next video. This is Jitender signing off from the tutorial now. Thank you very much.